Hi, I'm Steve Decker, Assistant Superintendent of Lacey Township Public Schools, and welcome to Spotlight on Education. On this episode of Spotlight on Education, we're going to talk about chronic absenteeism. Many parents might not be aware, but the state of New Jersey counts that against school districts. And more than 10% of students in the state of New Jersey are chronically absent. It's a big problem. This affects many things, especially their achievement in school. We're going to talk to all the different grade levels in Lacey Township and see how students can get to school on time, what parents can do, what are schools doing to help kids get to school, and how it affects their achievement. But we're going to start right at the high school and talk to the principal to see how it affects kids graduating. Well, here we are with Mr. Greg Brandis, the principal of Lacey Township High School. And Mr. Brandis, what today's show is about is chronic absenteeism and how it affects student achievement, graduation. Uh, we're visiting all the schools and talking about how it affects students throughout their educational experience and globally how it affects Lacey Township school system as a whole. So speaking of high school students, how does it affect students in the high school grade levels when they're chronically absent from school? Um, most importantly, unlike any of the other schools, when our students are chronically absent, it affects their graduation requirement. Yeah, um, they have their educational grade that they receive in a class, but they also have seat time. So a student may receive a passing grade in a course, but if they're chronically absent, they will not receive credit for that course. So what is, so just so I know, what is, explain that to me, seat time. It's just the time they're in their seat? They're actually in their seat in the class. Okay. So if you're absent and you're not receiving the instruction, um, that can adversely affect your graduation and being, uh, meeting the requirements for graduation. So you can have a good grade, but if you don't have the seat time, you're not you're getting not, credit for that. You're not getting credit not for there. the course, right. right? And you may then not meet the graduation requirements. Okay. I think a lot of parents may not understand because their children are still going through the uh, school system, but ninth grade is high school. I mean, ninth grade, you know, like people might think, oh, ninth grade, it's not the important grade. No, we, yeah, we start, we start keeping score in ninth grade. Every day counts, uh, every grade counts, and you know, you got to work up your transcript, and schools do. Secondary schools look at your ninth grade grades and attendance. And, and not only that, like, it's so important what you just said, but ninth grade begins to like establish habits and patterns, right? Correct. If yeah. somebody's absent all the time, if they say, ah, you know, I'm just going to kind of relax today and take the day off in ninth grade, and that they kind of develop that, that pattern, if you will, it really has an effect later on in 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yeah, we have identified those ninth grade students uh, in previous years and working up to that, this year we're also implementing interventions to get them, ninth graders specifically, more involved in school, extracurricular activities or clubs um, to get the buy-in um, beyond their educational classes to be more involved and want to come to school. Right, because I mean the bottom line really is that we want kids to, to learn, to become productive, engaged citizens and graduate high school and go on to achieve wonderful, great things for themselves. So just briefly, what are a couple things that we're implementing here at the high school to help families with getting their kids to school? Right. Well, we've done a lot of increased communication um, and a tiered intervention system uh, with communication from our tenant's office, then through our guidance office, and then through administration, um, not only reporting absenteeism, but again, providing interventions like getting involved. We created a freshman survey first at the end of first marking period um, to say uh, do you feel supported by your teachers do you feel supported by your administration and what other things are you involved in and who is your go-to at Lacey are you building relationships with a certain teacher um, to help them stay on task for that support for that, that support, support. Yep. so finally I guess what can parents do to help us 
with their children to get them to school. Yeah, really is, is I think is communication and being involved as a parent. You know, um, some people talk about parents and you know, there's no magic bullet with dealing with teens except maybe spending time with them, loving them and just being, uh, continuing to communicate with them and make sure that they're coming to school. Yeah. And if they're having trouble to reach out to the school because we could provide additional resources. Absolutely. Uh, for, for parents and students. Right, because one thing I've noticed in, in education uh, across the board nationally, and, and studies have shown this, when, when students are going to school, kindergarten, first grade, younger grades, parents are so involved mm -hmm. and they're right there, they're at the PTA meetings, they're at the school functions, and then as the grades go on, they become a little bit more detached mm -hmm. um, but we want parents engaged all the way, all the way, all the way through so, uh, their child's educational career yeah. here in Lacey Township. And we welcome it. It just uh, it just provides a unified front for their students to see that the parents and the high school are working together for their child's, uh, you know, for their best interest. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending time with us today. Thank you for sharing your ideas and thoughts. And uh, we're going to continue now to visit some of our other schools in Lacey Township to see the effects of chronic absenteeism through uh, a child's educational experience. Chronic absenteeism is truly a problem, and especially at the lower grades. Um, they, every day they're getting new skills and those skills build upon the next set of skills that they're going to get. And without um, being there every day, they're gonna fall behind their peers. And you know, at the elementary grades, that's a big predictor of how well they're gonna succeed as they get older. We believe wholeheartedly it's important for our students to be here every day and to be here on time. Um, when students get here in the morning, we have morning meeting, and it's very important for them to be a part of that. They're learning social emotional skills, um, they're getting to know their peers in their classroom, which they might not have seen at their lower elementary school because they're coming from three different elementary schools. So we do see um, that we see an increase in absenteeism at these grades, and we're we're implementing different strategies to help support our students and their families to make sure that they're here every day. Students who aren't here aren't learning and that's really what it comes down to and we do our best to get them here. We want to provide them with as much opportunity to be successful moving forward as possible. Uh, as adults you do need to show up on jo your job on time every day. Uh, we try and emulate that here in the building. Uh, we do struggle at times with, with students who do have chronic absenteeism. Uh, they're missing education and every day missed in the classroom is a, a serious thing. Especially in the primary grades without those basic phonetics, phonics, those stepping stones to get them to read fluently, read well, comprehend, anything that they're getting ready to do in the older grades with those missing gaps, they're not going to do well. It's like rungs on a ladder. The more you miss, you'll never be able to reach the very top level. Uh, we put things in place as the students come back, but it's never the same as being there in the classroom. You know, the rungs aren't the same, and the effort to achieve that height is greater each time, and it, it's very difficult for the student to, to make up those missed days. I would definitely agree with what Mr. King says because our learning here is sequential. So when a student misses a day of instruction, they're really missing a whole lesson. And it's difficult to make that back up when you're not in there for that authentic learning experience. Third grade is an exceptionally important year. Um, that is the time where you start learning, reading to learn rather than just learning to read. Uh, content area becomes very important and if they're not able to do it successfully, they lose some of their motivation for coming to school. When students are absent, we understand that there are times that they're going to be absent, but we really need them here every day. Um, a little cold, you know, here or there, we can get them through, whether they have to check in with our nurse, grab a box of tissues that they could place on their desk, but it's really, really important for them to be here. And we do put um, our guidance counselors help out. They will check in with students. If families need support from us, we're willing to assign them a check-in buddy, whether it be another student that just says, hey, I'm so glad you're here today, or whether it be a staff member that makes that valuable connection with them. Uh, the teachers make the lessons interesting. They have a desire for the student to be in class every day, and that interest and that excitement helps draw the students in. 
After that, if we find a student that isn't attending school, uh, the guidance counselors are an amazing resource. They'll reach out to the family, and if families need help, we have things in place that we can do. Uh, ultimately, we have a school uh, attendance officer that will visit your home with a counselor and work with the family. We have resources from the county, from the state that we can use. Uh, unfortunately, if it goes too far, we actually can bring the courts involved, and we can actually bring them to court, and they can be fined for, for not sending their student to school. We work very closely with our INRS team, um, our counseling team, our child study team, and even with other schools in our district to make sure that we're mirroring programs here. I like to say that coming to school is a habit. It could be a good habit or a bad habit. If parents set the foundation early, set the standards early, have expectations that you will get up, you will get dressed, you will go to school every single day, I find that greatly improves the tendency of the student to achieve good attendance their entire academic career. Uh, good attendance habits start at the home. Uh, parents go to work every day, parents have responsibilities every day. The student's responsibility initially is to come to school. After that it's to learn to be successful. We want all those things but step one is getting in the door and if they do that every day and set that standard high it's more likely the student will achieve success down the road. Research shows that their buy-in at the younger grades impacts their desire to continue attending school at the high school level and is often a great predictor of dropout rates. Uh, we are the building block for the high school career for the student. In four years, they're getting ready for college, they're getting ready for a uh, Votex school, the military, or the workplace. And the habits that we build here promote that, both academically, socially, and in this case, attendance. If they have poor attendance here and we can't correct that, we have seen down the road three, four years from now, students are still struggling. We, we don't want that to happen. So if you're a parent, it's as simple as picking up the phone. We're here to help. We're here to collaborate with you. Um, we can sit down for a meeting. It can be Mr. O'Neill, our guidance counselors, our child study team, and me and, our, and the student, because it's so important that they're a part of the conversation to know that we're all on the same team. Well, here we are with Dr. Clark, Superintendent of Schools for Lacey Township Public School System. Dr. Clark, I went around the district today and I spoke to all the different grade levels, if you will, of administrators, the high school, the middle school, grades five, six, uh, supervisor for elementary school. And we spoke about the effects of chronic absenteeism. Mm -hmm. And we've also established earlier in the program that the state of New Jersey has a chronic absentee problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, over 10% of students in the state are chronically absent, mm -hmm. right? And we know that uh, the state is looking into this. What was interesting when I looked at the data of Lacey and all the surrounding districts in Ocean County, pretty much all of the districts did not meet the state requirements for chronic absenteeism. They were all chronically absent. Yeah. It's, a big, it's a big issue. It's a big issue. And it's not just a problem for Lacey, but it is a problem. Uh, because if students are going to be successful in school, and take advantage of all of the things that the Lacey Township School District can offer, they need to be here. It's not a new problem, but it's a problem that we have recently become aware of um, because the state has placed a lot of emphasis on chronic absenteeism. In fact, it's a good point that you bring that up. Last year, Governor Murphy created a, uh, a, a new uh, law, if you will, for schools to address chronic absenteeism. Mm -hmm. And we have to have a plan. Uh, our plan is a tiered intervention system, mm -hmm. and uh, the first tier is that we just provide good education, we provide good programs for students to come to, support systems, counseling. But if students begin to have absences of five to, to six, seven absences, the schools are going to contact the parents, right? Yes, um, and, and that's an important step in, in the process because um, we can't do it by ourselves. We need that, um, that nexus between school and home and uh, we need to involve our parents in the process in order for students to be successful, but in order for us to be successful in implementing the plan. Yeah, I mean, we know in education that the most important partnership is school-parent connection. Absolutely. That's how we get kids to achieve. So we contact the parents, uh, we touch base, make sure that there's anything we can do. But there's also, also another piece in there that parents are going to have to come in and meet an administrator and create an action plan yeah. so that their child's not absent as much. Absolutely. Um, and, and the part of involving parents is, is the important piece because we have to have that sit down conversation. Um, and you know, sometimes the, the reasons behind chronic absenteeism is that parents need those supports and they need our help. And so sitting down at a table 
and having that back and forth conversation and developing an action plan shows the parent that we are willing to have that uh, two-way level of communication right. and be able to be there for parents to offer the supports right. that they might need. And unfortunately, sometimes there are situations that go to like a tier three, which would be a real intervention such as going to court because it is mandatory for students in the state of New Jersey to, to go to school. Yeah, compulsory education in New Jersey is, is mandatory. Um, and if we get to that point, and we have in the past, um, that's when we, we'll reach that tier um, and we'll have to take that more aggressive step, unfortunately. I think the main message, though, that we want to give in the program, and, and I know that you've, you're a proponent of this, is that we want to support the parents. We want to be there as a resource for families, as a resource for students to help them to get to school and to help them in many other ways as well, academically, socially, uh, with sports, with the arts. All those things come into play mm -hmm. and there's so many opportunities for, for the students of Lacey Township to be involved in and to grow. And that's why we want them here. Absolutely, because they're not going to benefit from all of those things if they're not here. And you made a good point about what we're trying to do um, in, in that we want it to be more helpful than punitive. And it reminds me um, a bit about our random drug testing uh, program. Um, you know, when we first implemented that, uh, there were a lot of parents who spoke out and thought that that was punitive. But really, and we're probably in our fourth year now, um, I think our parents and our students have come to find that really what we're trying to do is help students and not make it punitive. And so that would be applicable to chronic absenteeism is the most important piece is that we need students to be in school in order for them to benefit from everything that they can benefit from uh, in the Lacey Township School District, from academics to sports to clubs to activities. Um, if they're not here, they're not going to be able to participate in those things. Well, I want to thank you, Dr. Clark, for spending some time with me today and talking about the effects of chronic absenteeism. Thank you. So today was an important program because we learned many things about chronic absenteeism. Students need to get to school on time and they need to be here every day. Students need to be in school so they could take advantage of all the wonderful opportunities that they have, whether it be academics, athletics, or the arts. Students need to participate in all these avenues so that they can have a fulfilled educational experience and they can go on to be productive citizens. So, I hope you learned something today in this program and we look forward to seeing your child in school tomorrow.